Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the Lusuria Overdrive pedal by Dofix. Alright, so this pedal has been completely produced in Italy and has some high quality components inside. So it has absolutely nothing to envy to the best overdrive pedals that are already widespread in the most famous rock and blues audio environments. Compared to the more extreme metal distortion that you are used to hearing me try, this Stompbox is certainly much more dynamic, but nevertheless it is capable of offering you some great guitar tones, from clean to crunch to distortion, producing a very distinct and beautiful warm sound. Alright, so let's take a closer look at this beautiful lustful silver pedal. The absolute first thing you notice is the very high quality of the materials, just hold it in your hands for 3 seconds to realize its sturdiness and therefore reliability. Also it lights up red along its entire base and this makes it different and immediately recognizable in the middle of the classic guitarist pedal board. As we said earlier, its internal components are refined and of very high quality, so the classic gain, tone and volume knobs produce a warm and well-defined sound. It can obviously be powered with 9V DC through an internal battery or an external stabilized power supply. It weighs almost 0.4 kg and its dimensions are 112 by 60 by 31 mm. And yeah, for the non-metric system users, it's about 0.88 pounds and it measures 4.5 by 2.5 by 1.5 inches. If you like this video and this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and comment on anything you see or hear. And if you also want to see more of this stuff like plugin reviews, gear demos and other heavy metal related videos, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Alright, so let's hear how this pedal sounds more in detail. For this video I'm using my Jackson Dinky DK2, Hot Rod Flames, straight into the Illusoria Overdrive. This guitar is tuned to D standard and I'm using a hybrid set of strings, 10 to 52s, light top, heavy bottom. And of course, as always on my channel, I'm simulating both the amp and the cap section and today it's going to be more likely like a Fender Clean Classic. Alright, so let's start with this guitar's clean sound by itself, basically an emulation of a Fender Clean. Not bad, right? Now let's increase the gain and distortion a little bit. Nothing strange so far, right? Let's increase the gain a little bit more. Beautiful sounding, isn't it? 
Now I'm going to let you listen to something even more captivating, pushing the settings a little more towards the limits. As you may have noticed, I have used this particular settings for the intro track. I'll let you listen to it without the drums and without the lead guitar. Ah, what a beautiful sound. Now let's try to get the limits of this distortion, in order to get a sound similar to classic rock and some punk too. <laughs> Fantastic! As you have heard, the sound that comes from this great pedal is authentic and true. It really feels like you're using a tube amplifier. And yeah, of course, maybe you've already guessed it, but these were the settings that I've been using for the lead solo section of the intro song. So let's listen to them together without the rhythm guitars and drums.
can we say about this pedal? Well, just try it playing a couple of notes and you immediately can understand how this thing is very very versatile. From clean to crunch to distortion it can produce a very distinct and beautiful warm sound as the two knobs of tone and gain work really well together. So with only three knobs total you can get many different sounds, all very beautiful. Alright folks, this is all for today. Let me say a very big thank you to Dofix for letting me try this awesome silver pedal. You can find all the specifications and other reviews directly from Dofix website at www.dofix.et. If you like this video and this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and comment on anything you saw or heard. And if you also want to see more of this stuff like plugin reviews, gear demos and other guitar related videos, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to directly support me, don't forget to listen to my instrumental solo album Musa and my hybrid practice band project Awareness EP. They're out now and they're all available on all digital streaming platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, you name it. And as always, you can get the quick intro song I made for this video review on my Bandcamp page. If you're a bedroom producer like me, don't forget to take a look at my Facebook group, MSIMS and VST plugins for Metalheads. It's a great community, it's growing more and more every day. There are more than 1,600 members now, and you'll always get updates for new VST plugin releases. So once again, folks, thanks for watching and see you the next time.